Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the front cover and the back cover for this mini pop-out album. So in videos one and two for the mini pop-out album, I showed you how to create the base. So basically this is your front cover, and then of course when you open it up you have all the pop-out pages inside. And then for the back cover, we left this little rectangular piece to create a pocket. So this, this is what I'm going to show you how to finish first. So basically for the front cover, you want to first of all choose a ribbon for your album. And if you just want to tie a knot to hold your album together, you just need to cut a piece of ribbon about 13 to 14 inches. If you would like to um, turn the ribbon into a bow, tie it like um, I did on this one, you want to cut the ribbon about 20 to 21 inches long. So once you get your ribbon, you want to go ahead and take some strong adhesive, like this here, and I cut it to size, and I just put a strip of adhesive going across the front cover. And then, of course, you just want to adhere your ribbon onto the middle part of the front cover, making sure that you have excess ribbon hanging over the side so that you can tie it either in your knot or bow, depending on your preference. So you just adhere it to the front. You do not adhere it to the back. Just let it hang loose on the back. And so once you do that, then if we take a look at my finished one, you want to choose then some different um, printed papers or solid papers to use. And I chose three different papers to use so I could kind of give it a layered look on the front cover. So basically, I chose this striped paper first as my back piece for the base here. And then I added in some solid yellow just to kind of contrast it a little bit. And then I added this cute decorative paper on the very front. And as you can see too, I also added some different um, embellishments such as stickers and a cute little um, button here. And then you can either put your layered pages over the ribbon or you can leave the ribbon, um, you can let the ribbon show like I did on this album. The ribbon was just too cute. I didn't want to hide all of it with the little animals. But if we go back to the first um, little mini pop-out album that I made, you can see that I actually hid the ribbon underneath the layered pages. So it's totally your preference, whichever you know you prefer for your album. Either way, it looks really cute. So that's kind of how I finished the front cover for the mini pop-out album. Now, if we turn it over to the back side, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how I finished the back cover here as well. Let me take these tags out. We'll get to that in just a minute. So let's go back to our base. So if you recall in the base, we left this little rectangular piece hanging down. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and choose um, some layered pages again. As you can see, I chose a yellow piece of paper and I cut it to size. And I went ahead and put that on the whole back here, this giant square. Then I took an additional light blue um, solid piece of paper and I added that onto the middle. And then I took this cute um, safety pin little paper and I went ahead and just cut it to size and put it on top of the flap. Then after I did that, I took some fancy scissors and I went ahead and just cut across the top of the pocket to give it this look here. And then the next step is to take your adhesive and you want to put a little bit of adhesive right here on the edge of the inner part of the rectangular piece and on this side as well. Then just go ahead and fold that up and press it together, seal it shut really good with a bone folder. And then the next step is to go ahead and make some tags. And making tags is so much fun. You can use um, any kind of templates that you have to make tags. Um, there are scissors even that you can cut fancy corners and things too. And so here are two tags that I created for this album. So this is the larger tag that I made. And of course I added some ribbon using an eyelet too with my um, crocodile hole punch. And then I added a really cute um, sticker to kind of pop out. And then on the back I just kind of left it blank so that you could either um, cut a picture to size here or you could, you know, add some lines for journaling. And then on this little mini tag I kind of did a similar thing. And on the back I went ahead and used a template to draw my lines for journaling. So then all you do is you just take your little tags and just stick them in the back pocket. And you can add other stickers and embellishments, however fancy you want to make your little mini pop-out album. 
So stay tuned for my fourth and final video about the mini pop-out album, and I'll show you what's inside. Thanks for watching.